Hello YouTubies, this is Joker Scrab and thanks for watching one of my most bodacious, amazing YouTube videos. Now, you know, I've had this conversation before on a different channel, but I wanted to revive the conversation to put something new in, to add some of my own thoughts about this. Now, you will know me as somebody on YouTube who likes to watch a little bit of porn etc on occasion and I know that you guys love to actually see some of the reviews I've got on that on YouTube but you know when I'm looking at certain sci-fi programs I don't really want to watch porn yeah you have been watching it all day why would I want to watch any more of it you know what I mean you guys know what I mean out there on YouTube but many people out there in the world seem to think it's acceptable let's say Torchwood now Torchwood was a brilliant TV series of course the first few seasons had a little bit of a, a sexual orientation about it but it wasn't over the top there wasn't any real butt banging or anything like that on it it was just light heartedness I mean there was a couple of kisses between men etc but it wasn't anything that would actually offend anybody and then for whatever reason the piss head <laughs> can I say that from uh, the BBC who was out drinking every single night and that was uh, you know the BBC produ producer was Russell T Davies at the time and he decided that he wanted to add a bit of a bit of flavor to the program to push a political agenda which was acceptance yeah so acceptance of this acceptance of that uh, and we're talking about homosexual scenes as well as heterosexual scenes and it just turned out that he wanted to push the homosexual scenes over the top. Now, they did have some heterosexual scenes in the sci-fi and it wasn't anything offensive to anyone. So what he decided to do was actually to show full naked scenes between two men um, really going at it. And I know a lot of people who decided just to turn off that rubbish because, you know, even even gay people were looking at this and thinking, oh yeah, I love, I love watching this. They wanted to watch some sci-fi. And in the past, it was all about the story. You know, it was all about what's happening next, what's this. Oh, uh, we're in some place in the world, oh, there's aliens here, or mysterious gases, etc. But when I'm seeing this particular episode, 50% of it was about two men banging each other banging and banging and banging and banging all the time and it it drove people potty the viewing figures just went Ooh, exploded exploded up uh, you know Russell T's Davies backside I mean that is just awful what he did to that program and it's nothing against homosexual people either let me just make that clear I had people coming on my channel my previous channel, when I mentioned something like this, saying yeah, I didn't watch it because of that, they, they weren't begging homosexual, heterosexual people, not begging to see porn on their favourite sci-fi show, one of them, or even on Doctor Who. We want to see the stories. You know, you can try to sell porn, but you know, just using it to fill in the story lines or the dialogue, I think is a little bit over the top. And many, many people out there thought the same thing. And in the end, after that episode, after those episodes, there's something like five of them in a row where they were just showing, you know, real, real two men going at it. And I think uh, Russell T. Davies might have been taking a piss a bit with this particular episode. I'm not joking. I actually think he was ripping the piss in this particular uh, series of Torchwood. And it just went over the top. It just went over the top. The so far you can push it. You might be pushing a certain agenda, political agenda of equal rights for homosexuals, for women, etc. But when it's pushed in somebody's face on one of their favorite programs, as all most of the plot, 
it actually becomes rather irritating. It doesn't actually cover what it's intended to. In fact, it killed the program off. So you can, people might say, oh no, it didn't do any harm, but Torchwood is gone now. This is the 50th anniversary, and it's gone from TV, simply because these people decided it was a great idea for two men to go out on TV. When there's, you know, there's children who might want to watch it, by the way, I know of many, many, many kids who would love to watch Torchwood, who like to watch Torchwood, even though, it had, even though it had a bit more adult theme. They knew it wasn't going to be over the top, but can you imagine? They see the uncut versions as well. I mean, the BBC would go ban it, by the way. They didn't allow the uncut version to go out, because it was just over the top. And there were so many complaints that the BBC actually cut them out anyway, so what's the point of having them in? Um... But when I saw it, I saw the whole thing. And people in America also saw all of it. So when they're going out, you know, to see their friends at school, and they say, oh, did you watch Torchwood last night? And they say, what? You've been watching Torchwood, have you? You've been watching Two Men Go on have it? On TV? Can you imagine? Nobody's going to admit to watching that crap. And that's the problem. Because, uh, you know, a lot of the fans were children. A lot of the fans of Torchwood and Doctor Who are children. It's like Sergei and Adventures because it's a spin-off. They know about these things. And suddenly they're seeing that crap. So you're losing, you're alienating half the fans already. Because they can't discuss it with their friends at school. And they're part of the bigger fan base. And if the same happens with Doctor Who, it's going to go all over the place. Now I'm not against two men, you know, giving a like kiss or something or you know, skipping the scene, or at least not showing something over the top. But I thought Stephen, not Russell T Davies, was taking the piss in the, that season. I thought he was literally ripping the piss. To a point, it was just over the top. It wasn't even funny. It was just over the top. And I feel sorry for some people who, you know, really enjoyed that um, series, because you, you're never going to see it again. I mean, stars, for instance, who were from America, who added some money so that the BBC could show it, will not invest in it again. Or oh, the BBC have to do the whole work, and even they are reluctant because they don't know what Steve, uh, Russell T. Davis is going to do in these <laughs> series. They don't know if he's going to go absolutely insane. He actually lost the plot <laughs> in that particular series. Now, he's a great, great director, but I mean, to rip the piss like that is going over the top. I don't understand what was going on. Um, if you really want to make a good TV series, you don't have to sell it for sex. And people say, oh, you always... I mean, you'll get, you'll get some, you know, dorks or whatever come on the channels and say, yeah, but we should show it because of equal rights. But it's got nothing to do with that. The whole thing has to fit, and it doesn't fit in with the programme. You cannot just shove something in people's faces and expect them to like it. I mean, for instance, should we start showing bestiality on TV for acceptance? No, it's disgusting. But that's my opinion. That might not be the same opinion as somebody else. And I, you know, I can guess that anybody out there, even YouTube themselves, would actually agree. You know, there's different opinions. Some people might think you know bestiality should be shown on YouTube, uh, but no. They can't do it, so it's just one of those things. It just doesn't appeal to everyone. And I think if it's sci-fi, they should keep the topic there. They shouldn't go overboard. It's not a sex show, is it? Um, so anyway, thank you for watching. It's not been a rant, it's been a discussion. It's been me and my personal thoughts about this and how Torchwood just went down the hole how it was just flushed down the toilet by the producers and director and the writers. I mean, it, he was that 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 director was actually going a bit potty since he made Love and Monsters. I mean, that was bloody crazy as well. But anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye for now. See you later, guys.